<clears throat> What's going on, guys? Still under the weather, but still writing. You know what I'm saying? I have the rough draft for uh, the first episode of Lessons from Glennis. We're going to be shooting um, on February 26th. And then probably put that out in April because we got to shoot in March. So we're going to always be like backdated a month when it comes to putting that content out. But the goal is, is to do a short film, you know, every month. I would like to do it every week, but every month right now, based on the resources and stuff that I have. Um, it don't matter where you are, man. Like, if you get a group of people that love, you know, filmmaking, acting, and they see that, you know, you're serious about your craft, you know what I'm saying? You can make it happen. Like, 10 years ago, before YouTube got so popular, we didn't know how this YouTube and MySpace, how effective it would be. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm going that route, the, the, the independent route at the end of the day. Uh, I'm tired of paying these cast directors six, seven hundred dollars just a chance to, to talk to them and take a class with them. They, they charge more than uh, an acting teacher. And it's only for a couple of weeks. It's, it's, a, it's a scam, in my opinion. I understand they bring value. I get all that. But in my opinion, it's, it's one big, big scam to meet a cast director. No great actor like a Marlon Brando, Denzel Washington said, oh, my cast director is the one who taught me how to act or taught me this. or taught No, no one has ever done that because everybody wants to be an actor now. I should say the past 20 years, with the you know with Kim Kardashian and her entourage and her production company you know basically you know making women you know <coughs> be all glammed up having no talent but if they show they, their breasts and stuff like that or only fans or all these different places they get a following now all of a sudden the producers are interested and I get it it's a it's a business but um I'm gonna say true to myself true to my brand and um I, I figure out the formula to build a following and it's just about being consistent so we're gonna we're gonna make it happen man you know what i'm saying we're gonna make it happen we'll keep auditioning the goal is to uh figure out a way while working for some people or freelancing so i can be open for auditions that's that's the biggest balance that you know what i mean so Temp jobs is usually the answer, to be quite honest. You know what I mean? So we probably will work on that once I get some bills paid off. But, um, yeah, man, I'm looking to go back and forth from Florida to up north. Because this work out here in Florida, in Georgia, you know what I mean? I'm really not focusing on theater so much. Uh, theater don't pay the bills <laughs> like film does. And you don't get residual income. So... Excuse me. So we're going to be, you know, dogging down on the, the film and the TV stuff. And then, of course, my own productions. Um, yeah, man, you just got to do what you love. Figure out how to maneuver. I got my camera. I got my film equipment. And I just got to keep investing into that. And uh, there's always going to be artists <coughs> that want to... Uh, be involved with something, you know what I mean? And that's just the way it is. Um, you know, uh, what's this, uh, the dude from Wildin' Out who has like the braids and he got like a ball spot. I forgot his name, Chino. Chino Bean. Chico Bean or Chino Bean. He's like, yo, bro, don't worry about going out to LA or New York. Just build your brand wherever you are. You know what I'm saying? So build your brand wherever you are. Even like homie, uh, uh, watch homie Kwan. You got a camera, start shooting. You know what I'm saying? You 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 do something creative enough that people resonate with, you know, you could turn heads a little bit. You know what I mean? And that's what it's all about at the end of the day. It's doing your craft and, and, and focusing on that. But it's always going to be something. My acting teacher always said it's going to always be something work, family, stress, 
depression. It's going to always be something in your way when you're pursuing this, this acting journey. You know what I'm saying? It's always going to be something. So you'll be sacrificing a lot to, to, to make it make sense. You know what I mean? But, um... What I realized for me, I've been focusing on <coughs> you know, just like worrying about shit. My past, present, future. And um, if I cut the worrying out, the negative shit out, I'll be in a better place, you know what I'm saying? And I got to keep reminding myself that. So we'll get there sooner or later, you know what I mean? But it takes time. It takes time. But get your money right, man. You know what I'm saying? Start a business on the side. Get your money right. That's all I can tell you. So you don't have to rely on these production companies. They'll be knocking on your door. That's the goal. Peace.